it's about uh, 4 30 so roughly three three and a half hours till dark i'm going to uh, get my stuff out make sure i didn't forget anything and then uh, get on over here see if we can't find a bird and get it to work I just came up on four deer, They're about 150 yards away. Um, I didn't spook them, they never knew I was here, but the cows started acting a little bit crazy. Uh, there's a, a lot of new calves here. So they went to Bellerin and the deer didn't really spook and run off. They just decided they would rather lay up in the woods than they would lay on here on the edge of this field, which, should work out pretty good for me. I about gave up hope, but uh, I had been hearing some gobbles uh, a long way off. It was, sounded like it was straight out in front of me, but it was a long way off. About 7.30, I, uh, I looked and there's a tree line in front of me, about 50, 60 yards away, straight across in front of me. And then there's a big pasture, you know, and um, probably another 200 yards, 150, 200 yards. There's another tree line before you get to a big hay field. And I saw a Tom come out of the, um, the far tree line, work his way up, get to the close tree line, scratch around in there for, I don't know, it felt like 10, 15 minutes. I, it probably wasn't that long. I thought I was gonna get a shot. Um, I wanna say he was 75, 80 yards um, away behind, a, he came out behind a brush pile. I had about two seconds to think about shooting him and I thought about it, but, uh, I don't, I didn't want to, I didn't want to take that shot. It was a little too far. So 20 yards, 30 yards closer, uh, we'd be looking at a dead bird right now. But uh, I just didn't feel like it was, uh, it was an ethical shot to take. So uh, not really sure what my plans are for tomorrow, uh, but uh, just uh, I'll get back after him here sometime soon. So see ya.